everyone. I'm Steph. I'm Queen G. Oh my goodness, and you didn't. I, the, and this is the, the Steph and Queen G, 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 G show. G show. <laughs> yeah. Oh good, thank you. I'm glad that you finally recognized I'm her. I'm not recognizing she's out of control, people. Well, okay, whatever. It's true. We have a beautiful banner up here. Is it showing up on, is it showing up it on? It is. Um, can you read the words? It's um, one word. Okay, can you read the word? No. Okay, it says Queen. Yes, I and this should belong to me. However, it belongs to our favorite queen. Sandra Self Newcomb says hi, ladies. Margot Margot says hi. Hey, Cavalier Margo, Bird. Margo. I have an, a message for you, Margot Margot. She's um, not supposed to be reading her notes. Yeah, minute. but I want to make sure I have it right. It's called Thread Magic, and you can get it in Annie's catalog, okay? So you know what we're talking about, and that's the answer to your question. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so this is to our very own self-professed queen, Mark, Mark Lipinski. <laughs> uh, Dusty, from the day that we were having a chat and you said in the conversation, I just love pink. It's my favorite color. And then it wasn't, it wasn't, it, well, that and during that episode, yeah. you professed yourself as queen, and I said, and, oh, no. And then Mark queen said he old. was the queen, and we had to bow down. We did. Okay. So, so it says queen. It's it's like um, trapuntoed in there. It is very, very cool. So anyways, Mark, this is watching. for you from yeah. Dusty, and well, we told him it was really nice, so it's we beautiful. should get a little bit of credit, too. Yeah. And <laughs> But we're not binding it for you. You have, have to, to bind it yourself. That's all on you. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, we love you, Mark. And if you're watching, this uh, will be heading out in the mail to you this week. Oh, and we'll throw in a fast fold for you so you can actually fold your binding and it'll be a lot quicker when you go to There you go. Thing. So You'll anyway. be an official fast fold binder. Fast fold binder? Yeah. Is it a club? It could be. I really like the name. We were trying to come up with interesting names. Oh, maybe we shouldn't say it unless we figure out if it's available or not. Oh, yeah. yeah, but we could say it and just because it's so good. G's brother, anyways, he lives in Wisconsin. And they have an organic farm and they, you know, they do all this stuff. It's really cool. Anyways, G was talking to him this week. And I talked to him, you know, more than, one, well, actually not lately. But at any rate, he came up with this really great name. And it's called the, we, we want to call ourselves the... Tipsy, tipsy gypsies. Tipsy gypsies, that's it, yes. I Isn't think that, that fits us pretty well because, you know, we're on the road a lot. That's kind of like the gypsy lifestyle. That is. And we drink on occasion, so that would be the tipsy part. So I think it fits us really good. So we are now known as the tipsy gypsies. So there you go. Yes, that's it. Okay. A.K.A. Steph and G. That's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we've got so many things um, for you today. Um, but first and foremost... We have rules. Okay, so the rules, I actually posted on the Stephan G page. And you can find them. There's a picture of a duck's ass. And if you click on the duck's ass, you'll get the rules, okay? And um, <laughs> it's, it's on the duck's ass. Uh, that's all I can say. But the main thing for you to know is if you see something on here that you would like to purchase, please put it down in the comments because that's the way we collect all the orders. And the other thing is, is that we do have a contest every week. Um, on comments and you in order for you to enter the contest you have to just comment on anything you can say where you're from or just say or hi whatever. everybody or whatever but anyway get a comment in there and you automatically get into the drawing the um if you you're not going to win two prizes we've already, the numbers have already been drawn if you happen to show up in multiple places you'll get the prize that you won the first time and then We'll go to the Somebody next else person. Will, yeah, yeah, we'll go to the next person. So that's that's how that works. Anyway, so um, go and look at the rules. We're going to talk about some other things later, and um, it's the duck's ass. That's all you have to know. <laughs> um, so uh, Steph is going to demo. We had a request from Jolene um, to see the templates that she purchased in Houston, and a lot of people said they wanted to see this demonstration. So Steph is going to go ahead and demonstrate, and they are called... Path Easy? Well, that's that's what we call our, well, these are our Path Easy templates right here. So, um, and this is what people know us most for, are the Path Easy templates, because they're super easy, you know, no marking, no monkey business, you know, it's just fast, fun, and easy. It's quilting at its best, at least in my own personal opinion. 
Um, so I don't possess the ability to just artistically be able to move my fabric and, and make beautiful quilting come out. I just don't possess that. And drawing it all on is way more than I am willing to do. Um, and try to sew on the lines. I can't sew on the lines. Nobody can sew on the lines. You know, they tell you they can sew on the lines of fibbing. Anyways. <laughs> so there. <laughs> there. So that's how I feel about that. So um, if any of you have heard of or have already owned um, a ruler foot, I know we did the couching foot the one day. And this is a ruler foot. And this is the standard size. So this is what most of you would have, and we make path easy tools. I can't get this darn couching thing off. Holy, well, don't holy. say that on air. Nobody bought one. Well, <laughs> it's not that you can. It, I okay, got it. I got it. Okay. Anyway, so this is a regular standard half inch ruler foot, and we have um, we make a mini one, and the mini one is half of this width, so it's much thinner. We make the tools though for the mini, which is this size. And then we make them in the size that'll fit the regular half inch uh, ruler foot. So either way, you can use this our tools for this. So if anybody goes to a show and they've seen us at a show and I'm demoing, typically I'm demoing these five pieces here, okay? And these are what is in my beginner set and you get a ruler foot with it as well. So, um, and at the demo, I'm always, you know, these are basically the five ones that I do all the time. And then if somebody asks or requests to see something else, then I'll pull out uh, different templates. So um, I do have a request for this, so I'm going to show this before the end of the day. Jessica Carr requested that she do the hexi. So yes, that's, so there Jessica, it is. you're on board. I'm going to do you. Okay, so. She's going to demo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't guarantee to do you. <laughs> Woman. Now, I just got off a crying day because I don't know why, but something got my funny bone and I just, woo -wee. She almost peed her pants. Almost, but tears were just running. It was Not her legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There's only one dick in the house today and it ain't you. Okay. It's the camera guy. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is our mini pocket pebbler. Um, this is going to be one of the templates that I'm going to throw in um, at no charge. Also, our mini clamshell and our stitch in the ditch tool. Hold so. up, hang on. Hold them down a little for not in front of your face. Oh, what? Well, yeah. Here. Here. Um, Here. I think I've already had enough of you today, Dick. No, doesn't the scallop go down? No. I. I do mind. No, well, you're doing clamshell. Isn't this a ha like a half a clamshell or something? It's a clamshell. But the clamshell isn't this way. It's this. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> she should know. She you may make the them whatever That's you want. That's right. And for those people that say this doesn't work when you spin it around, you don't spin it around. You move it through, and she's going to show you how that yeah. works. Yeah, you okay. bump it out. Deborah yeah. Cabrell would like to find, know where to find the duck's ass. The duck. <laughs> The last video that we did, uh, the picture, or actually no, the picture that we posted this week of Steph and I together, right across from that to the to the right, you have to be on the old Facebook format, not the new one. The new one hasn't, I haven't figured out how to get that posted. So go back to the old Facebook format and click on the duck's ass, scroll down a little bit, and it's there. <laughs> I checked. Huh. Okay. Okay, so, and the rules are actually kind of funny, so, you know. Check um, out. In the kit, the beginner set, you get your foot and you get these five templates. So, I'm going to show you quickly um, how these work. And since Path Easy is kind of what we do, um, you're not going to start by making feathers. You know, you're not going to do the hardest thing first. I always tell everybody to start with the clouds. Now, I did wax the throat and the extension table on my machine. So, just car wax put it on, wait for it to dry, buff it off. Um, but it makes this nice and slick. Um, and I put grippy dots on the back. So these are our product as well, but um, they're just silicone grip dots. And you put as many on there as you feel you need. So um, you can use ruler magic too. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I apologize. 
Wait till I wait till she does her demo. <laughs> Dave, did you bring my drums? Her what? Drums. I'm gonna need the drums so that I can use them during your solo. Oh, okay. <laughs> And, okay. and just so you know, since we can't figure out how to use all the new equipment that Stephanie bought, we're still doing it on iPad, and the autofocus keeps messing up a little bit. So I know. just blame it on the camera guy. His name's Dick. So if you have a complaint, just <laughs> well, Dave is like enter it, his face. <laughs> enter it in the comments below. <laughs> I think it's part of your comments. You you could comment to Dick. You could. Yeah. So anyway, so what we're gonna do here is I've got my foot down inside the uh, groove. Oh my! I've got to tighten my screw. If you decide you want this um this pa this package that she's got she's showing you, um, you let us price. know. I know. Let us know what machine you have, please, because we need to know if you have a short shank or a. Uh, high tall, shank? Long, long, high, whatever. <laughs> I can't find the right word. But She's having a really hard time. Yes, but um, that's it. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do here is I use basically my fingers in one in each of the corners, and all you're going to do is a forward and a backward. Now your feed dogs are down. And now all I'm going to do is move my fabric and template together. So as I do this, of course, I'm stitching in that little groove, and my foot fits in that groove perfectly. So my stitch line is always in the center of that path. So when you get to the end, you're going to stop needle down, turn your template 180 degrees, and then you're going to stitch around. again. Flip yeah. it around, yeah. yeah. Just, just so you know, if you don't move anything, the focus works really good. <laughs> Oh, I'm, so do that standing still or something. You I'm, gotta do your demo without actually moving the fabric, the template, or your hands. I, I look at that. She can talk to him, look around, and still and and quilt at the and same time. If I let go with one hand, I back from one. Okay, what she didn't mention is there is a little etched line across the center of the um, template. Yeah. And all you have to do is put a chalk line on your fabric and line that line up each time when you flip it. Now, I'm lazy, so I'm not throwing those lines. I know, but you've been doing this forever. Yeah, but I use the seams in my quilt. Okay. And then I don't have to make a line. Uh, but if, if you do find that it's a solid piece or something, <laughs> go ahead and... and okay, so Ruth on. wants to know, do you ever wear gloves when you do a bigger project? And Pammy wants to know what foot do you have right now? Can't see it. Okay, um, I'm using our mini ruler foot, um, and so it is exactly the same as our larger foot, except for it's only half the size. So I don't know if you can see this. This is a standard ruler foot. So don't mix it up with your uh, free motion foot because the free motion foot has a spring and this does not um, so it stays stationary but the foot actually sits down inside the groove see the groove there in the template and that groove then I mean it's like bumper cars once your foot's inside that groove you can't get it out so I have a, an extensive YouTube channel so if you're looking uh, for videos it's Farrell's Country Stitching.com or I'm sorry that's on YouTube and, um, but the set, the set of template comes with five templates and the foot where we have them on sale. So the show special price, which is $99. And then I'm also going to include three freebies. So one of them is the stitch in the ditch ruler, because who can really stitch in the ditch? Nobody. Um, this is the mini pocket pebbler. And the clamshell, that clamshell. So you're going to get all three of those as well um, if you purchase a kit. How um, much the kit is? $99. Okay. Um, normally, like at home, it's going to cost you at least $125. Bucks. Did you tell them the foot is included? The okay, foot hang on one second because yes. you got some questions. I'm sorry. Okay. Can they be used on a Singer slant machine? I actually just have, and I haven't even put it online yet. I actually 
have a brand new adapter that will allow you to use our foot on a slant shank sewing machine. Do they fit on baby locks? They most yes. certainly do. Yes. How do you keep your stitch length even? Okay, all good questions. I should bring this up now while we're talking about this. Anybody who purchases a kit, um, you're going to get first dibs on a class on using this tool set. It'll be online. It'll be free, and it will be the last of the month. The end of the very end of the month, you'll get a little, you know, thing, an invite. So we're going to have a class, and you're going to be able to see me do all these tools, and I'll be able to answer any questions you have, all of that kind of stuff. So if you've previously purchased it, um, she needs to know, know so she can send you the invite. Okay, so Correct. if you previously purchased the kit, or if you purchase it um, during this segment, n not the segment, but up, you have till Monday at uh, yeah, Monday midnight at midnight, yeah, to purchase, um, then you know you'll be invited to the class. But let her know if you have already have the set. So okay. basically, here's the concept of the class. Okay, there's limited space. Correct. We so have people who already own it or who buy it for the class get, get first, first dibs. dibs. Right. The class will be free to anybody that like still to... wants to come and watch it, uh -huh. uh, but it goes to people who actually have the product first, then right. any open slots will be available to people who just want to come and watch you guys give a class. Correct. It's Correct. called good customer service. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do that. And we're not saying, oh, we'll have this class one time and that'll be it. We'll teach it as often as we need to. The, yeah, the, the need, the people yeah. desire to see it. Yeah. Barbara has previously purchased the set. I assume that Barbara would like to be entered for the class. Great. Yeah. Thank you, so Barbara, for send letting us, us a know. Message. And you're now entered into the comment contest. Oh, we have to tell them what they're going to win, right? Oh, yes. Is that now, or do you want to well, keep doing this? Well, well I was going to keep doing that. I, you know. <laughs> So stitch length. Somebody asked about stitch length. Oh God, you remember. I have a couple of little tricks uh, about stitch length. And one of them is uh, music helps a lot of people, believe it or not, because it has a beat. Um, but because you're in free motion mode, what I've found is, is keeping the slower I have my needle going up and down, the worse my stitches look. So I have one of those speed things, you know, you slide it back and forth. So set it up to about three quarters of the way up. So you want to be zipping right along. You don't want to be, no grass is going to grow under your feet. Um, Picking up beat song. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hang on. So Sandra just purchased it. She wants to be invited to class. Crystal purchased. She wants to be invited to class. You're in. Karen wants to be purchased. It wants to be invited to the class. Okay. So what I need you to do, ladies, is go up there and send us a private message. That way we make sure you'll get a you'll get a text or I'll probably get you a text asking for your email address and then um, then we'll send you an invite. Debbie's okay. glad she found this. She hasn't used her. She's digging it out. All right. Yay, Good Debbie. job, Debbie. And join us for the class. It'll be fun. Um, Jolene, if you're out there, um, let us know um, if you want to do the class. So, okay. Suzanne purchased it in September. She would love an invite. All righty. Don't forget private messages. Um, With so, your email address. Right. Yeah. So, plenty of grip dots. If you do not have enough grip dots on your template, your template's going to slide all over just like this. And you're going to make terrible quilting. When you have enough grip dots on, you need to just be able to hold it. And this should be able to move. You don't have to hold it hard. I can put one finger on there and move it. Okay, and you want to start with fat quarters. You don't need to work on anything bigger than that until you become more comfortable. Okay, so um, again, I'm going to put my foot down inside the groove. Can you see that thread? Is it thick enough? Well, can you see the thread, ladies? Marilyn has quite a few. She would like an invite. All right, we love that. I mean, not that you're. I mean, you know, whatever. The words aren't coming. I'm adjusting my machine. <laughs> what does that sound? <laughs> Those are all the ladies who are sending us private messages, oh. I'm assuming. Oh, okay. I turned the volume down. <laughs> it's like, bling, 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 bling. Well, all right, let's see here. She's making the adjustments to her machine, whatever those are. 
That's and funny. did anybody let us know if you can actually see the stitches, uh, the white stitches, or do we need thicker thread? Pam says yes. Good. All right, good. So a little back stitch at the beginning. Now we're moving fabric and template together. Now this particular template, if anybody's going to have trouble with the tool, That's it the is one. going to be the one, the meander, which everybody says to me, oh, if I could just stipple. Well, if I could just stipple too. But unfortunately, I, however, cannot stipple. And, um, but because of the way this template is designed, it has, you know, these little peninsulas that kind of roll out into the middle. And it's what like happens, a dance. You it have is. to do with your fingers. Yeah, it is. It, it is. is like a dance with your fingers. But, like, what happens is, like, when I push this, I don't know if you can see that clearly or not, but the center part of the template Poofs pops up. up. Yeah. Yep. And when like a it does trapunto, that, ladies, like a trapunto. Yeah, and when it does that, it rises up the center. It'll feel like your foot's stuck in the groove. It's really not. It's just because it gets hung up on the back end. So, again, you're going to do the same thing all the way around. And the faster I go, the more consistent my stitch length is. Now, of course, you have to be a little bit more experienced. Well, yeah, I'm not saying go this fast the very first time you, <laughs> you do it. But you're going to learn so much in the class. You're going to learn how to nestle those yes. um, so that when you go back, you can't tell that you're not actually stippling. It's really, really Right, cool. and we're going to show you a lot more than just all over. Edge to edge. We're right. going to show you how to make those feathers, the leaves, you know, all those curly cues that are so pretty that we all just would die for. We're going to show you how to do those. Yeah. So I'm going to do one more stitch, but I'm going to wait till after G's done. So anybody's interested in you this? Do the hexi? Well, I was going to do the hexi, but I thought I'd wait until you okay. talk, you and then I'd come back and do it. Okay. But anyway, so the five-piece set with the foot. I do need to know what kind of machine you have. If you don't list it now, I'll contact you and ask you what kind of machine you have. I want to send you the right foot, okay? It's no good to have toys and not be able to play with them. Right. So, five templates, the foot comes together for $99. Three extra? Three extra, yeah, yes. Don't forget so you're that. getting three bonus templates for free, no charge on those. And what's the value of that? About Well, without the extra, so with the extra templates, you're looking right about $150. Bucks. Um, if it was well, I meant if you get the three templates by themselves. Oh, the if three templates by themselves. by themselves. Yeah. Oh, it'd be like $22-ish. Right there, so, handed. Yeah, so you're getting a lot of extra, but plus you're getting a discount on the whole package. So correct. Yeah. So, but comment below if you want a set of templates and a mini ruler foot. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the um, comment contest that we have. Um, even if you're not going to, don't want to purchase anything, at least put a comment. Tell us where you're from or whatever, because then you'll be automatically entered into the contest, and we have three prizes this week. And um, well, do they have to like and follow us to be able to be entered? No, 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 it's just the comments. We would appreciate it if you would like and follow us so that you can participate in more of these exciting and enlightening events that we put on. <laughs> so Joan wants to know, is your practice fabric two layers or is there batting in between? There's batting in between. Yep. It's a yep. real thin batting. It's black batting, actually. Yeah, and it's real thin. See it? Yeah, it's um, it's like an 80-20. It's an 80-20 blend, so it's not overly thick. But because the way the foot is designed, there's a slot in the side, so it's adjustable. Yeah, you so even if you down. wanted to use two or three layers of batting, you could do that because the foot will rise and lower to suit whatever thickness quilt you're using it on. Um, okay, so back to the prizes. Um, yes, sorry. We have, that's okay. Um, we have a pattern here. It's called Little Quilts 2 Again, and it is the wooden bear, and it is a, a, a Christmas-themed um, little quilt, um, which we're going to talk about something like and that it's later. it's like what size? Like 12 it's a 12 by 12. By 12. It's, a, it's a nice little small oh, yeah. one. So you can it's put cute. it on a rack at the holiday season and then use the rack for other holiday things. Yeah, sure. Okay, and then we have the uh, Fusimat tweezers, and if you want to come in a little bit closer, Dave. Um, the tweez these are exceptionally wonderful tweezers, especially if you're doing applique, because the points are really, really sharp, and you can pick up really small pieces and grab them really well. And those are normally $7.99, and we have them today. Oh, no, we're not selling them. Never mind. This is free. So, for the winners <laughs> of whatever number. <laughs> okay. She, she, she's got a 
got a note card over here hanging out <laughs> and I still can't get it right. Okay, so the third item, and some of you have seen these, our little mugs here are, are flamingos. And um, we are going to be giving one of those away. We gave one away last week. If the person that got it, if they actually, actually have received it yet, can chime in, that would be great. Um, but anyway, so these are very cool, and you're going to get one of these as the, the third person, yes. the comment uh, contest. So that's... Yes. I'm done. And they're very cute. And oh, they cute. come with the straw, and the thing won't come out of there. There's a little rubber dude flippy down there. And so, like, if you are carrying it or whatever, you don't have to worry. You're not going to ever pull the straw up out of the, the thing. That's right. So, anyways, back to G. She forgot to do her demo. It's okay. I Sandy wants to know if you can see the pattern. Yes. Mm-hmm. And she loves somebody else. Patricia loves the flamingos. Wants to know, can she buy one? We'll have to discuss that. But and then, possibly, uh, yeah. Yeah, possibly, yes. That just hasn't come up in those weekly meetings that we have together. Tammy wants to try the uh, package with the foot included. Wonderful. Hey, Tammy, did you get the needle was minder? It, it, did we ship the needle minder? Any? Did you get anything? And yes, the mug is plastic. No, it's no, glass. No, it's not. It's glass. I stand corrected. <laughs> Dick is wrong. As, <laughs> by the way, which is a normal state of mind for me. Even if he isn't wrong, I tell him he is because nobody wants to get complacent, you know. <laughs> Uh, we wouldn't want to get a big head. That's yeah, it. that's yes. it. Okay. Sandra didn't get the flamingo yet. Oh, it's on its way, Sandra. Okay. Oh yeah, it just was shipped a couple days ago. Yeah. So okay. Anyway, if Dave is, uh, Dick is going to come closer in, and we're going to show you, we're going to talk about the thread director. Okay. That's this little gizmo that I have up here on the top of my machine. Now, um, we. We are the manufacturers of the thread. Of the thread. Can you see my face? Or yeah, I can see your face. Okay, I can see go. the thread director. I can see the thread. Okay, I can good. see the machine. I can see all the okay, wires. Okay, Dick. We've had enough. <laughs> okay. So, we manufacture the thread director. Um, we did not invent the thread director. The thread, the thread director was invented by a woman by the name of Lee Fletcher. Lee, if you're watching, hi, we miss you. Anyway. So, um, she is an extremely smart woman and has been sewing for her entire life and got very frustrated because she w used to be an educator for Silky Corporation. And I probably should have just said Thread Corporation. Anyway, I took four of her of the certified classes to teach Silky. Uh, yeah, to teach their projects. Techniques Silky projects. projects. Okay. So this started out with my girlfriend and I driving up to Sacramento for a class. And the only reason we continued to take the classes is because Lee was just such a crack up. I mean, we enjoyed the classes so much. They used to be a three-day deal. She must be like us. Yeah. Oh, God. She, you'd love Lee. She's wonderful. Anyway, so took her class, loved it so much, took three more of them. But in the meantime, um, she said that she had invented something that she just really couldn't get anybody to interested in and the reason she invented it is because people would take her class and complain about the fact that the metallic and the um, those flat threads would always break and they were frustrated okay so she invented this thing that the thread comes off flat do you have a roll of toilet paper over there <laughs> I mean your foot last week you had a problem I've always got extra okay there you go so here's the deal what she figured out is that thread is wound on to the spool flat, you know? I mean, when they wind it, it's probably turning this way, and the thread is, okay. But most of the machines nowadays have the thread laying like this, and the thread comes off, and it twists like this. And that twist isn't good for anything, but when you're working with either metallic or invisible threads, it, about every 16th stitch, they're going to break because the twist builds up, puts too much stress on the thread, and then it snaps, okay? If you just turn your thread or your spool this way, now look what happens. Your thread comes off flat, goes into the thread path, and then goes down into your project flat. So the end result is, one, no, no twisting, no breaking. But the other thing is if you're using those flat hollow shimmer or sliver threads that... Um, have the little glitter in them. Yeah, like that we all want to play with so That's bad. right. Okay, so you don't get as much shine. Now, here, you're going to have to come closer, I guess. And I don't know if you can pick this up or not. If you see this, 
there's there should be a lot of shine. You might not yes. see it as good. Can you see shine? Okay. Hold, hold it still. Okay. So the autofocus steps. Okay, so there should be a lot of a shine in there. And the reason why is because when the thread goes in flat and lays flat in your project, you get more area for the light to reflect off of. If there's a twist, it breaks up the reflection and you don't get as much shine, okay? So I'm showing you this particular design because um, this is the first one that I ever did when we were doing uh, shows. And we did a commercial show. That's one where the dealers come and see your product. And um, we were showing this particular design. And a gentleman walked up to my husband and said to him, he said, somebody said you had nutcrackers and metallic. I'd really like to see that. And my husband showed him this design. And then the gentleman said, I'd really like to talk, meet the person who was crazy enough to do that. And my husband said, here, be my crazy wife. So... That was uh, Steve Wilson, let me Steve Wilson out. from Anita Good Design. And uh, if you didn't know, Anita really is a man. Anita was his grandmother. So anyway, Steve was um, so impressed. We sent him home with one for him to test. And a week later, he ordered one for every machine in his shop. And one of the first projects that he ever designed after that is called Captain Steve's Fish, okay? And again, Dave's going to have to come in. But Captain Steve's Fish is all metallic thread. And I am going to give kudos to my dearest friend, Shirley. She is the one that stitched this for me. It took 12 yards of stabilizer, okay, um, because it's multi-layered. But that is metallic thread, and she did it on a 10 needle, and it is beautiful, let me tell you. Because there's a lot of different colors in there. So, anyway. How many yards of stabilizer? She took her 12 yards of stabilizer. What? Well, at least that's what I gave her after she was done, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, she made hey, Shirley, am I right? Up. She screwed it up 11 times. Okay, so I have to say hi to Shirley, and hopefully Katie is there too. And Shirley, if, tell me if I'm wrong how much stabilizer it took. Um, happy birthday, Pete. He's 70 years old today. Um, and my brother has his birthday next week, which I mistakenly thought it was this week, but... You know, that's that have light. I haven't known them that long. <laughs> Stuff happens. Yeah, it happens. So anyway. So Shirley says only one thread break in all those stitches on Captain Steve's fish. Oh and, my goodness! And, and Shirley, did you do it on? Uh, you did it on the ten needle, right? Just if she hears me. Well, anyway, well, this is magnificent. It's and boy, when you get the light on it, I mean, it is gorgeous. It really. She does beautiful work, though. Let me tell you. She's. That's crazy. We're trying to get her motivated here. Okay, Joan asks, can you please show how the thread director fits on your machine thread spindle? My Genomi Horizon has a horizontal spool pin. Okay. And Shirley said yes. Thank you. To, uh, to the yardage, I guess, 12 yards. Okay, and Dave is going to come in close. I have a baby lock machine. Baby lock machines only have vertical uh, spool pins. If you will see, I just took it off of my bobbin winder, okay? So, this brings up a really good question. It fits on the bobbin winder, it won't damage your bobbin winder unless you have a Viking machine. If you have a Viking machine, we do not want you to put it on the bobbin winder because your bobbin winder is shorter and it's plastic and our screw happens to hit right up at the top of, of it. It'll work, but if you crank it down too tight, you're gonna break your bobbin winder. So. Um, for the people that do not want to put it on their machine, because um, I put it on my bobbin winder, I leave it there until I have to wind the bobbin, and usually I use pre-wounds. But pe for people that don't, may want to actually put it on a separate thread stand. If you have a thread, hold on one second. If you have a thread stand that looks like this, I have our single um, thread director on there right now, okay? But you can put either one on there. And the thread goes directly up to the hook, and it spins off the spool the way it's supposed to, coming off from the side, not from the end. Show it going up to the hook. It's up oh, here. It's up it's there. Already, okay. okay, I just can't it, see it, it in the camera. No, yeah, I just got to zoom in. Okay, here, let me do that. Okay, so if you do not have a thread stand, we have a special offer going on. You buy a thread director, either the single or the double, and you're going to get our thread stand, which is going to give you the cast iron base, 
the center pin that shows right here and the hook. You're also going to get an additional pole. Can you see the additional yeah, pole uh -huh. right there? Okay, that you can put your thread director up here. And the reason why I suggest you do this is because you don't want anything down next to the side of your machine. The thread could get drawn into your wheel, okay? And so because of that, um, we want it to be up above the flywheel of your machine because you can do it. Okay, yes, the cones. The size <laughs> cone will not work on the thread director, okay? And unfortunately, the other cone that I had, which is like the size of a maxi lock uh, serger thread, you, you can use it on a long arm with our thread director. You cannot use it on a domestic machine. The biggest um, is the mini cone, um, like a Robinson Anton or a Floriani or a, a mini Jenny King. Hacken, a mini King. Hastings, yes, mini kings. Those will work. Uh, uh, right now I have two threads on my machine. I ha oh, let me get this uh, Carolyn would like to know how to send a private message. Okay, good. Um, just click on the step in G. If you just click on our name, you, it'll come up and there'll be a blue box there that says contact or message. Um, you'll just hit that and you'll it's be a able lightning to bolt. Us. If you see a lightning bolt, just click on that and put the message in there and it will pick it up. The lightning bolt, right? That's yeah. the message symbol. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes it so much easier. Anyway. So getting onto the thread director. So after learning that metallic thread should come off flat, it turns out that invisible thread should come off flat, and it turns out that most thread is wound on from the side, it should come off from the side because that eliminates the twisting. And when you don't have twisting, you don't have shredding. You don't have breaking. You don't have stretching. Polyester thread stretches. And if you have your thread sitting up like this and the thread is pulling through the machine, it's stretching it, and when it gets down to your project, it goes back to its original position, and then it uh, puckers. If you're embroiderers, if you're getting puckering, it's because your thread is stretching. And if you get the tension off of the thread, you will not have that puckering. I have a sample here that shows that um, it's 64,000 stitches, and normally stabilizer companies will tell you that with that many stitches, you should have additional layers of stabilizer. In my sample, which is the 64,000 stitches, and I don't know if you could, is it close enough, Dave? Can they see it? I don't know how good that's going to show up on camera, but let me tell you that is one layer of um, light weight tearaway stabilizer inside, and we left the bottom open just so you can see that, but it's just one layer of, I don't know, can you see that? Yeah. One layer of stabilizer in there. So, it saves on stabilizer too, but the best thing is the puckering, no puckering. The thread lays flat. You get better reflective off of metallic threads. And um, Yeah, they can see everything because the cameraman is doing such a great job. <laughs> However, Have the host... I mentioned that the cameraman's a real dick? <laughs> However, the host who's sitting beside, behind your sewing machine... Mm -hmm. Who bought a chair that really gets high? Oh shoot! Well, is sitting you... is sitting way down low. Hey, so everybody. there you go. <laughs> okay, so they got the idea. Anyway, so we have the single thread director, which is this one right here. Okay, and that one is twenty four ninety nine. The double, which holds two threads, um, and what you can do with that is twin needlework, quick color changes on an embroidery machine. Run two threads through a single eye top stitch needle, which um, is one of the projects that we're going to be offering on a class. But this is a shawl made totally of thread on water soluble stabilizer and using metallic and 12 weight cotton. And it's just wonderful. Uh, Jim Suzio has done a, um, a purse that he's digitized that we can do two threads with the metallic for special occasions. It's a really cool. Uh, project, you could go to his website, Jim Suzio, S U Z I O. And just so you know, I sew that scarf all the time at shows, <laughs> so it just proves that any dick can do it. Okay, so Dick, yes, he demonstrates the scarf, but he really 
he doesn't put the grid down, so it falls apart when you wash it away. But at any rate, we have a class. So no credit for. So Dick. there will be a class. Yes, there will on. be. If you are interested in that class to do, um, it's not going to be this big. We're going to do a scarf, not a shawl, but and it's going to be a multi-part class because you're going to have to do some work in between sessions. So anyway, we have this beautiful, and it's done with metallic and 12 and 30 weight thread on water soluble stabilizer. Anyways, I can't wait to take that class myself. But it'll be fun. I think it'll be good. Yeah, it'll be great. Okay, so the last thing I want to tell you, where'd my tutu go? Oh, hold, hold on, I'm going to go she away from her a tutu. You talk, you talk, you talk. Be careful when you sit back down, your chair doesn't go zooming out. Okay, if you go on YouTube and put in the thread director, there's going to be an, a, a class by Lee Fletcher on how to make this little tutu with your serger, okay, and the thread director. And um, is so this cute. is called Serger Crochet, and it is adorable. And, it, you know, if it, the video is not um, detailed enough, we can get her to teach a class if people are interested. But this is so adorable. She made this for her grandbaby, and I stole it, so the grandbaby never wore it. it Tammy but, wants to know, who does Dick belong to? Me. Dick is mine. Um, he. Um, we call him Little Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Little Dick Man. Dave, Dave and I met uh, at, during a work thing. Um, <laughs> well, okay, and um, that was thirty, almost 35 years ago in September. It will be 35 years. It took him 26 years to propose. Now, before Dick says anything, I know most I'm of that's not my saying, fault. I'm not saying fault. anything. But, you know, he, after, he always it. said he, that, you know, he wanted to make sure he had the right one. Um no, he was getting in a hurry. No, but, you know, and he always said he never wanted kids. Well, you know, he ended up raising mine. But at any rate, so, um, yeah, he's mine. <laughs> that was the answer to your question. So uh, I was going to demonstrate this, but we were going to, we were way beyond time here. We so, are? Yo, yeah. So here. You have 42 minutes. It's okay. We'll quick and finish. Okay. So thread director, if you want one. You're going to want to comment below. Single or double. Single or double. And if you want to take advantage of the thread stand, it's normally $19.99. If you buy a thread director, you'll get it for $10. So, yes. okay. Perfect. And just to remind everybody, everything that we quote prices on is you, you have to pay the freight. Show the glue real fast. Oh, you have something. Yeah, I'm going to do okay. it after you. Okay, so You're on uh, my other thing is going. Roxanne's uh, glue based it. And it's normally eleven dollars and ninety cents. We have it for nine dollars and ninety two dollars off. It makes it easier. Oh, uh, it's got two ends. Oh yeah, this one has the two different applicators, so you have the really little. Awesome. If Dave wants to, dude, you're good. doing fine. Okay, so we have a little tiny applicator on this end for really thin things. Like if you want to do Celtic designs and you want to put your bias tape down and press it on to make sure it's right because you can release it and, until you get it perfect, you know, and then uh, stitch it down. Uh, then you have the bigger end down here when you want to do, well, because I've been using it here, but bigger stuff, whatever that may be. So anyway, um, that is it, and we normally have it $11.90, and um, you, hems, temporary it's things. temporary that's the that's key. the thing you know it's not permanent you can you can change your mind we do change our minds so often sometimes 990 uh just put uh glue or roxanne or anything in there that we can tell what you're talking about patricia would like to know how much is a thread director thread directors okay so the original thread director which is right here uh single you don't get the stand for this price but 24.99 the double, which is on my machine right here, and I'm running two threads through a single eye top stitch needle, that is uh, $29.99. If you decide you want the stand too, it, it's $10. If you buy a thread director, it's $19.99. If you uh, just want the stand with the two different posts and all the... And so Pammy says, you remind me of us. Married 57 years tomorrow, smiley face. Oh. And I say, Pammy... Give my condolences to your husband. Happy anniversary, Pammy. <laughs> and thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. We do. And we really appreciate it if you share. And, yeah, of course, comments. Uh, if you put a comment in there like Pammy did, you get entered into the contest, the comment contest. Yes. 
So, and we have another contest we're going to talk about in a minute, but Steph is going to talk yeah. about her goodies. So, contest. this is my goodie bag. So, um, I've got two um, cleaners, cleaners, brushes to clean your two, bobbin case and stuff. Two screwdrivers, a Phillips and a regular. Stubby, up. so you can get your hands underneath and... Uh, <laughs> what? You're not, you're not doing it. I'm trying to be quick. Okay, you get your you're hands underneath. This long and, well, yeah, but they got to know they're short. You can... You can do it. You can get your get it underneath. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh wait, I gotta stop doing that. Last week, Steph kept playing with her beads, and um, they kept making a really bad noise on the feed. She, had, but I've been bashing my boobs. <laughs> so, oh wait, wait, wait. There's one more thing. Oh, finish that. Go ahead. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> You'll I get should, used to it, Steph. I should have brought the talking stick. <laughs> or the megaphone. <laughs> or the megaphone, yeah. So this is a pack of 9014 top stitch needles, um, a pack of grip dots, a little... Um, retractable thing. Yeah, it's a little retractable doodad. You can put it around your scissors. Wait, hold it. Hold. Okay. Okay, so you, oh you put your scissors on here, and then you the clip clips. this onto your whatever. Wow. And then your scissors, you don't lose them underneath those piles of, or those layers, layers of layers. things in yeah. your sewing room, because we all have layers. It's so sewers, if you're going to get a bottle of Steph's Thread Lube, a pack of hand sewing needles, a pin dish magnetic, and a tape measure, and a free pattern to make this handy dandy, take it anywhere, tool, tool bag. So, um, and it's got pockets, different, um, you know. Different sizes. Yeah, different sizes, different uh, widths. And I even cut, trimmed some of them down, so you can see I can only go that far down. So, for little items. So, put whatever you want in there, fold this over, and roll it up, and it'll tie, it'll just tie shut. But here's the other thing. If you happen to be somebody that wears makeup and or you have friends that wear makeup, I have a lot of makeup brushes and I have trouble finding them. If you have it in this and, and maybe put an extra um, little pocket down here, you can put all your brushes and be able to see them. I Mine are all stuffed in like a cup and yeah. it's hard to dig around. Yes. The other thing too is this side here that you fold down over, it will slide underneath the edge of your sewing machine and then all your little tools hang right down in front of you like this. So you're great for classes. It's trans, trans, um, okay. Moving from one to class to <laughs> Oh, good gracious. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Wait, wait, we have um, the contest. Yes, go ahead. Okay, so we have, we last week we introduced a new product called the Gulp and, and the Garbage. And we didn't really care for that name too much, so we decided to have a contest. Now, here's the deal with the contest. I'm going to say this right up front. If you uh, enter into the contest, um, the name has to be trademarkable. Okay, we have to, nobody else can have that name ahead of us. And so you have to, you know, that's one of the things. You don't have to research it, we'll research it. Um, and then, but that would disqualify you if in fact, that name was already used. Okay. The other thing that you need to know is you're going to win a prize. And in exchange for that prize, you are giving up the rights to the name that you have entered into the contest so that we can trademark it under us. So your prize. So you're going to get a, a good prize for your efforts. Um, you're going to get a, a gulp and garbage. That's what we're calling it right now. Uh but we want you to rename it a blank and a they, blank. Do you have a golf of garbage you can Yeah, show unfortunately. Um, <laughs> hey, yeah, you keep talking and I'll go. I'll go oh, get it. she's going to get her own golf and garbage. Anyway, so the golf and garbage, which is a cup holder, it screws onto your table and it has a little trash bag. There's our original one. This one has so pants on it. The, uh, that okay, is I'll, what it is. Okay, okay I'll tell them. Okay, so the. This is the main part of the gulping garbage. Uh, I forgot the bag. But at any rate, um, <laughs> ours, this is a prototype, okay? And the prototype um, doesn't have something that ours has. Ours has, here, take this. Uh, ours has uh, rubber uh, pads on both the top 
plate and the screw plate so it doesn't damage any surface. We have a really wide area here, um, so you can go over any lip, whether it's one of those tables from Costco or your sewing table at home. I mean, this is wide enough to fit just about everything. And as thin as your table is, it'll screw all the way up and it will clamp really well. We have a cup, um, for a coffee cup, you can put the handle out here. So depending on if you're left or right-handed, you put it on either side, okay. And then, <laughs> um, there's a ring here with a bag, a trash bag. Just and, use your imagination. Yeah, use your imagination. <laughs> or go to notionsyouneed.com, and the first page will have a picture of the whole mechanism. But at any rate, we want to rename this, and uh, we had thought of sip, was it sip and snip or something? Don't. Well, we thought about a bunch of them. Don't worry about that one. snip and snort. A snort is good, but snip and whatever it was. Um, doesn't snip work and because snip is already taken. It's already gone. Okay. Uh, I mean, we can't get it as a trademark thing. So anyway, we're looking at, this is the contest. So you're going to get one of these in the prize. You're going to get a thread director. You're going to get a needle minder. Uh, you're going to get um, a bunch of other little things, which we'll put on the Do website. Doodads. Doodads, that's right. Doodads. Um, Everybody likes doodads. And you're going to, you know, Stephanie's doodads will be part of the program because I can get them cheap. Uh, <laughs> Um, that's the contest, and I'm going to post the rules right after this, uh, the legal stuff. Will it hold a glass with a cocktail? It will hold a big gulp. It will hold the, it'll hold these really well. See, because the, the, they have cocktails. Yeah, see, them. look at this. <laughs> see, look at that, how nice that is. And see, that's a cocktail. Beautiful. There is, these really are cocktails. cocktails. Yes. <laughs> well, it is a bird. <laughs> it is. So anyway. It's a cock flamingo. <laughs> so if you, anybody is wondering about my unique hairstyle this week, um, Stephanie cut everybody's hair. I'm going to fire you. You, I, you don't pay me. So <laughs> where am I going? You don't pay me either, I guess. Where are you going? Okay. Yeah, for the haircut. I did not pay, uh, which may have been a mistake. You've heard her brag about her haircut. She does beautiful haircuts. But we Except were Except this time. Yeah, well, she kept asking me if I slept on this side. I don't know what the reason was, but there's no hair here anymore. <laughs> tell, tell Shirley water. Water? Water. Yeah. Yep. She uh, want to know what's in your glass. Oh, water. 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 Is it our Shirley? Yeah. Oh, Shirley? It's my favorite drink. Water. Water. <laughs> Poor Shirley. I have a habit of dropping drinks on people. And by the way, oh in two goodness. weeks from now, on my blog, if anybody follows my blog, will be a story about that um, interesting thing. I just posted my newest blog. It's, it has to do with Cleveland, Ohio. And so many things happened there, I had to split it up in two different blogs. So the, <laughs> the part that Shirley will be interested in is the next one. Shirley, give Katie our love. That's the cat. That, that Katie is our out. cat that Shirley has adopted um, from us because she got Katie got tired of being on the road. Katie was an ornery. No, she cleans her toys in the. Shirley can tell you better about Katie's habits now, but I think they're probably pretty annoying. And anyway. <laughs> yeah, you probably should start minding it. Okay, so right, right. Time. Wait, one more thing. Well, we're going to start having guests. Yes, we what, are. The first week of every month? I think first the first weekend. Saturday of every month. And we are thinking that our first guest is going to be Cindy, Cindy um, Loose Camp. And if anybody knows Cindy, she does some amazing work, so you're going to stay in for that. And then the eighth, this is the sixth show, the eighth show we're going to be our cleanup show where we're going to offer some of the items that we've had before that we might only have one or two left. So, uh, yeah. Listen, they've got to go. So that's in two weeks from now. The Janine, next week, I think it's Janine, wants to know if you two are related. No, actually, we, we are now, sort of. Well, now, but before, we only met about three years ago, officially, and only became really close oh. friends within the last year. So and now uh, they live in my driveway. <laughs> close and Elaine, the Elaine would like to know how many years you've been married. Which one of us? We've never been married. Yes. <laughs> I think she's talking about you and I, but if you want to add them all up, you can. Okay, Dave and I have now been married eight and a half years. We'll Dave, be some of, AKA, Dick. AKA Dick. Uh, we got married on Christmas Eve on a cruise ship 
and we invited everybody to the ceremony thinking that it was Christmas Eve and nobody would come, and surprise, everybody came. It was expensive, but only nine people went on the cruise with us. We didn't pay for the nine people, but they were all relatives and stuff. It was, um, it was good. <laughs> Elaine wants to know how many happy ones. Oh, I think about that, no, no, being no, married. How many years weeks, are happy? Six well, weeks or so. No, no, no. Being married, I would say probably a whole um, six and a half years. And then, um, a damn but out of the whole 35 years. <laughs> and then because, it went downhill from there. Yes, no, 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 <laughs> that was the, the beginning. Because you were gone most of the time during the beginning. Oh, those, so it was those, easy to get along. Those, those, were the good, <laughs> those were the good years when I wasn't around. <laughs> but um, out of the 35 years, I'd say we'd have, we have about 25 good years. What do you think? Well, you thought they were all good. I guess you well, thought yeah, we were together, together ten of them. <laughs> We've known each other thirty-five years, but we weren't together for ten of them. Oh, she was married to other men. Happy birthday, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo. Is that it? Did I we... tell them all the time that they're newlyweds. So <laughs> apparently, I'm going to stitch this this next week. The hexie. Oh, you next week? Well, we'll post well, it is then. Is she here? We're overdue. Okay. I'm... Oh shoot! Well, little she, Miss, little Miss Jessica, um, she's going to post a video specifically for you and anybody that is interested. She's going to do the hexi. I'm getting a talking rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're talking every damn pin. time she interrupts me. I'm just going to bat her one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So from <laughs> from Steph. Till we see you next week. Yes, this is the Steph, Steph and G Show. <laughs> Bye. Oh.